Hey guys, I got question five here from Manifesting Miracles from, here's the cover of the book. I got number five here. I really wanted to get in this one. This is actually will answer some questions that I just recently got some comments um, on some questions. Is it possible to imagine several things at the same time or should I confine my imagining to one desire? This is very, a very common question. And also uh, this, is a, this is an answer from Neville Goddard himself. Personally, I like to confine my imaginal act to a single thought, but that does not mean I will stop there. During the course of the day, I may imagine many things, but instead of imagining lots of small things, I would suggest that you imagine something so big, it includes all the things, all the little things. Instead of imagining wealth, health, and friends, imagine being ecstatic. You could not be ecstatic and be in pain. You could not be ecstatic and be threatened with a dispossession notice. You could not be ecstatic if you were not enjoying a full measure of friendship and love. What would the feeling be like were you ecstatic without knowing what had happened to produce your ecstasy? Reduce the idea to ecstasy and to the single sensation, isn't it wonderful? Do not allow the conscious reasoning mind to ask why, because if it does, it will start to look for visible causes, and then the sensation will be lost. Rather, repeat over and over again, isn't it wonderful? Suspend judgment as to what is wonderful. Catch one the one sensation of the wonder of it all, and things will happen to bear witness to the truth of this sensation. And I promise you, it will include all the little things. Well, that's a great answer, guys. Um, I'm going to use this for cross-reference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move to number six now. All right, guys, uh, Manifesting Miracles, Neville Goddard.